So this tutorial is going to walk you through how to check your transcript and see how many credits you have earned for the year. So make sure that you have logged in. You can log in here. You can also log in right here. Make sure you're logged into the system. When you're done, you're going to see two ways that you can get there. You can go to My Events and then click on Completed Events, or you can click down here to the Transcripts area. When you click here, you're going to see that you can check um, lots of different things. You can modify and unregister from events. You can see in events that are still in progress um, that aren't complete yet. You can see your incomplete events, um, any events that a, you haven't done your evaluation, and if that's the case, you can pop down here and do your evaluations. You can also see any events that you did not attend will be listed as incomplete, or ones that the instructor may not have given you credit for. In that case, um, you would contact the instructor and see um, when he or she would be completing that, because if there are no evaluations here and you did take the class, then the instructor just didn't give you credit. But the most important thing is finding your completed events and making sure that you have been given the correct credit before the end of the year. So I'm going to click on completed events and I'm going to enter the login begin date. So the begin date I want is in June. It's always the week after the last week of school. So our last week of school was the 6th so anything from the 8th on could qualify. And I'm going to go ahead and click on View Log. And it's going to show me everything right up here that I have completed. You'll notice that if I want to print my certificates, I should do so because we give you the certificates one time. And if you wait until you have to renew your license, these certificates could be gone you should print them immediately after the class is over. You'll see how many credits you have been awarded in the grade. This is the um, how many hours that you attended and then this is how many credits that you were, have been awarded. Down here the totals is one of the most important things. You need to see how many totals you have. Everyone should have 12 hours of PIR and 6 of DD PIR. If not, that's when you are in danger of having your pay docked in the spring. So make sure that this shows your district directed hours as well as your PIR hours. You'll notice right here you can print out this report as well as click on the certificates and print them out. So I hope that helps you get started in looking at your transcript and what events you have completed.